Example number one. Determine the Maglorin series expansion of a function f of x is equal to ln of 1 plus x. Up to the fourth? Okay. Up to the fourth term, isn't it? So the first thing you need to do is to is to determine is to write down the Maclaurin series, isn't it? And to get the Maclaurin series, you start from the Taylor's from the Taylor series. So remember, we say a function f of x plus x to be equals to f of x to be equals to f of x. This is what is guiding you, isn't it? Meaning, if you want to expand f of x, you take this part. For you to expand f of x, you start from f of f of a. So it means f of x is equals to f of a, then you differentiate f of a for the first time, then you leave some space, then you differentiate f of a for the second time, you leave some space, then you differentiate f of a for the, for the third time, because you've been told to reach the fourth term, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, isn't it? Then you put, when you differentiate it for the first time, it means it is over one factorial, then our x minus a is raised to power that one, isn't it? Are we together? Yes. When you differentiate it for the second time, it means it is over 2 factorial, then our x minus a is raised to power 2, isn't it? If you differentiate it for the third time, it means it is over 3 factorial, then our x minus a is raised to power 3, isn't it? Yes. So, the Maclaurin series is at a point when a is equals to 0. So, where there is a, you put 0. So, you will get f of x is f of 0. Are we together? Yes. f of 0 plus f prime of 0 over 1 factorial then x is raised to power 1 because a is 0 so you just remain with x inside these brackets isn't it? Yes. and then x is raised to power 1 then plus f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial then our x is now raised to power 2 because a is 0 then plus f triple prime of 0 whether you say you put 0 over 3 factorial then our x is raised to power 3 because a is 0 isn't it? Yeah. so this is the Taylor series expansion so it means all we need to find is f of 0 f prime of 0 f double prime of 0 f triple prime of 0 that is all we need to find isn't it? so you start what have you been given to be f of x. You've been given f of x to be ln of 1 plus. Are we together? Yes. Now if you want f prime of x, what do you get? When you want to differentiate ln of t, you get 1 over t. Mm. So it means if you want to differentiate ln of 1 plus x, you get 1 over 1 plus x, isn't it? Yes. Then if you differentiate this in a function 1 plus x, you just get 1. Are we together? Yes. So you just get 1. So the derivative here is 1 over 1 plus. Are you seeing you found f prime of x? Yes. You move to the next one, f double prime of x, meaning you differentiate this for the second time, isn't it? Mm. Are we together? Yes. What is this? See, this is the same as 1 plus x raised to negative 1, isn't it? Yes. Because it is in the numerator implies, negative implies a reciprocal. See, that is general. Mm. Are we together? Mm. If you let 1 plus x to be t, so it is like t raised to negative 1. If you differentiate t raised to negative 1, what do you get? See, the coefficient negative 1 times 1, you get negative 1, then you reduce the power by 1, t raised to negative 2. See, that is what you get. Yes. Then if you differentiate, so there, what do you get? t raised to negative 2, it is negative 1. What do you get? t raised to negative 2 will be what? So we have negative 1 over 1 plus x squared because negative 2 means it is in the denominator, isn't it? Then you differentiate the inner function. If you differentiate 1 plus x, differentiating 1, you get 0. Differentiating x, you get 1. So you just remain with that, isn't it? Are we together? Yes. Ah, yeah. Now this one can be written in which form? So it can be written as negative 1 into 1 plus x raised to negative 2 because 2 in the denominator negative means it is in the denominator, isn't it? Yeah. Is that okay? So start, if you now want f triple prime of x, how do you differentiate this? It is negative 2 times negative 1. Yes. See that one you just get positive 2. Over into x plus 1, then you reduce this power by 1. Negative 2 minus 1, you get negative. Then you integrate the inner function. If you integrate 1 plus x, you just get 1. Yes. Are we together? Mm -hmm. So what do you have here? Look here. What do we have? We have here f of x to be ln of 1 plus x but we don't need f of x we need f of 0 meaning where there is x we put 0 isn't it are you seeing that yes. see we need f of 0 yes. see it means where there is x we put 0 yes. so it means f of 0 is ln of 1 isn't it yes. f of 0 is ln of 
ln of 1. But ln of 1 logarithm of 1 is what? It's 0. You press in the calculator. ln of 1 is? 0. Then what else do we want? See, we want f prime of 0. Yes. Are you saying that? Mm -hmm. We want f prime of 0. So what is f prime of 0? Meaning, f prime of 0 where the sex you put 0, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Are you seeing that? Yes. See, where the sex if you put 0, you get f prime of 0. Yes. So when you put 0 in this, put 0 in this. 1 over 1 plus 0, meaning 1 over 1. Meaning you get f prime of 0 to be what? Mm -hmm. To be one, you now move. What do we want? We want f double prime of zero, but we have f double prime of x, meaning where the x we put zero. Are you seeing that? So if we put zero, see we get f double prime of zero, meaning where the x if you put zero, what do you have? Negative one over one plus zero, isn't it? See this negative one over one square. See that's just negative one. So you get f double prime to be negative one. Then you move to the next one. What is f triple prime of zero? See where there is x, you put 0. So that you have f triple prime of 0, isn't it? So f triple prime of 0 will be what? You put 0, yes, you'll get 1 raised to negative 3. See, 1 raised to anything is just 1. See, this is now 1 times 2. Are we together? Because x is 0, so 1 plus 0 is just 1. 1 raised to power negative 3 is just 1, isn't it? Then 1 times 2 is 2, times that 1 is just 2, isn't it? So f triple prime of 0 is? is 2. So it means if we want the expansion of a function f of x, we just substitute f of 0, we found is, is 0. So where we have f of 0, we put its value which is 0. Then f prime of 0, we found is, is 1. Meaning this is 1 over 1 factorial, isn't it? Are you seeing that? So we have that is plus 1 over 1 factorial. Then our x is raised to power. We are done with that term. Are we together? We move to the next term. F double prime of zero we found is what? So it is negative one over two factorial. Are you seeing that? So it is plus negative one over two factorial. Then our x is raised to part. We are done with that term. Are we together? You move to the final, the last term. Then it is plus. What have you found in the last one? F triple prime of zero you found is? So it is two over three factorial, isn't it? It is two over. 3 factorial, then your x is raised to power is raised to power 3. So from there, if you simplify, 0 will go. 1 factor is just 1, isn't it? See, 1 over 1 factor is 1. Yes. Then x raised to power 1 is x, meaning the whole of this term you, you get it is? Yes. Isn't it? Then here, see, 2 factor is just 2. So negative 1 over 2, see, that is negative a half. Yes. Then your x is squared, isn't it? Then you move here. 2 over 3 factorial, so 3 factorial is 6. So 2 over 6 is a third, isn't it? So it is plus a third, then our x is q. So as you see, you found the expansion of the function f of x at up to the fourth term using the Maclaurin's series. Then you substitute your f of x. What is your f of x? ln of? So it means ln of 1 plus x, if you expand in Maclaurin series up to the fourth term, you get x minus a half x squared plus a third x cubed, because the first term was 0, isn't it? So this is the expansion of ln of 1 plus x in Maclaurin series up to the fourth, up to the fourth term. And you have dealt with 8 marks as simple as such.